In this video, I'm going to look at updating the BIOS of a Lenovo ThinkStation P320 Tiny. And I'm going to create a DOS bootable USB in order to perform the BIOS update. So this BIOS update is also compatible with the ThinkCenter M910T, SQ, X and 710Q. So once we've downloaded the BIOS update for USB, the first thing we need to do is extract it. And when we extract it, we get this readme file. Now the readme file is very basic and at the top of it, it talks about creating a DOS bootable USB. And then of course gives no instructions on creating a DOS bootable USB. So in this video, I'll create a DOS bootable USB in Ubuntu, and then I'll also create one within Windows and perform the BIOS update using each. Okay, so in Ubuntu, I'm going to need a program unit booting to make the DOS bootable USB. So let's just go to its homepage and follow the Linux installation instructions. So basically we need to copy and paste the following three lines into the terminal. Now the lines begin with sudo. So when we paste the first line, because we're running it as a super user do everything command, we'll need to authenticate this by inputting our password. So once we've done this, we can proceed. So press enter to continue. And next, let's copy and paste the next command. So this will just check that the software distribution is up to date. And the final command will install the UNET booting application, which is what we need. Type in Y to proceed. Okay, so now what we want to do is install a program called Gparted. And once again, we want to follow the Linux installation instructions. So there's instructions for Debian. So Debian and Ubuntu have the same instructions. So let me just copy and paste the line of code into the terminal. And now type in Y to proceed. Okay, so now we're done with the terminal and I'm going to insert a USB flash drive. So it shows up on the side panel and now I'm going to launch Gparted and I'll need to authenticate this. So I'll input my password and select authenticate. So to the top right, I need to select the bootable USB. And then what I want to do is right click it and make sure that it's not mounted. And then I'm going to right click it and format to FAT32. And then apply the changes and then select apply. And now I can close Gparted. So now I can go to the start menu and I can launch Unit Putin. And I'll need to authenticate this. 
So to the bottom, we've got USB drive and we've got the USB drive selected. We need to change the distribution to 3DOS and then select OK. So it's complaining that the drive's not mounted. So let's select OK and let's pull out the USB flash drive and insert it again. And when I do this, it's mounted and I can now just select OK. And it's going to create the free DOS bootable USB. So now I'm just going to copy all these files directly onto the free DOS bootable USB. And now I'm going to power off the Lenovo Think Center P320 and I'll power it up and press F1 to get to the UFI BY setup. So on the screen we've got the BIOS version. So this is M1A KT4BA and it's better to have a look at the BIOS date. So the bias date is the 3rd of June 2020. So I've already actually got the Linux bias on this, this model, but we'll go ahead with the bias update just to demonstrate how it works. So the first thing we need to do is go over to security and FreeDOS doesn't pass secure boot. So we're going to need to temporarily disable secure boot. And then we're going to need to go to startup and enable CSM. So this essentially enables the legacy ROMs and we can set the boot mode to legacy and we can save and exit the changes. So now when the Lenovo reboots, tap F12 to get to the boot menu and select the legacy USB flash drive. And this screen select default and then select two to load free DOS in safe mode. So it starts booting from A, which is the floppy, which doesn't exist. So the first thing we need to do is change A to C. And once we're on C, we're going to type in DIR, which will list everything on the USB flash drive. So in order to perform the BIOS update, we need to type in flash2.exe which is the program to perform the BIOS update and then we need to load the ROM so that's going to be the image m1a.rom and then select enter now in the next screen it will check the BIOS update and it will give a warning if it's the same as the current version or older. So I want to continue anyway, so I'm going to press Y. And then we'll be asked whether we want to update the serial number and the machine type and model. Select N in both cases, as there's no need to change these. Now if you type Y by mistake, then have a look at the label affixed to your tiny PC and type in the values that are on the label. So after these questions, it will begin the bias update. So it will perform a reboot and continue installing the bias update. And once the BIOS update is finished, it will reboot again. So tap F1 here to return to the UFI BIOS setup. And on the main page, you should see that the BIOS version and date have been updated. Now, as this is running Ubuntu 2004, 
I'm going to go back to security and re-enable secure boot. And now I'm going to check that CSM is disabled and boot mode is UFI. So this should automatically happen when secure boot is on. And I'm going to save configuration and remove this USB flash drive. So now I'm going to press F12 to get to the boot menu and reselect Ubuntu. Okay, so let's have a look at the procedure within Windows now. So if I power up this and boot to Windows instead, I'm once again on the Drivers and Downloads page for the Lenovo P320 Tiny, and I'm going to download the same zip file. And on Windows, instead of using Unet Booting to make the bootable USB, I'm going to use Rufus and Rufus does a slightly better job so I can just use Rufus directly I don't need to use Gparted so double click Rufus and accept user account control prompt then under boot selection select free DOS the partition scheme should be MBR and it should be NTFS formatted. So select close and now go ahead and extract the BIOS update. And we want to copy the files to the USB flash drive directly. and just select replace when prompted. So let's once again power off the Lenovo and power it up and press F1 to get to the UFI BIOS setup. Okay, so once again on the main tab, we'll see the BIOS version or BIOS revision level and BIOS date. And once again, in order to boot using a 3DOS bootable USB, we're going to need to disable secure boot. So let's move along to the security tab and highlight secure boot and make sure that it is disabled. And then go to start up and make sure that CSM is enabled and we've got the legacy boot. And type in F10 to save and exit. And then as the Lenovo reboots, tap F12 to get to the boot menu and then select your USB flash drive and then select enter and in this case it's going to start the BIOS update as soon as you boot to the USB flash drive so type in Y to proceed and once again we don't want to update the serial number or machine type and model so type N in both cases Okay, so the BIOS update is going to proceed in the same manner as before. The computer will reboot and the BIOS update will continue. And once it finishes, type in F1 to get to the UFI BIOS settings. And we're wanting to go over to security and re-enable secure boot unless you're running Windows 7 then leave it disabled and on Windows 10 the CSM should be disabled and boot mode should be UFI only on Windows 7 secure boot should be disabled CSM should be enabled and the boot mode should be UFI only these are of course the last Lenovo models that support Windows 7 Professional using downgrade rights as they've got 6th generation Intel Skylake processors. 
So if you've got Windows installed already, it should boot as normal. 